Hi, I'm Dr. Supano Chakrabarti. Um, I am a doctor of blood diseases or what you uh, call hematologist or hemato-oncologist. I started my career in um, this particular discipline uh, way back in uh, the early 90s. And uh, I am currently working at Dharamshila Narayana Hospital and heading the department of uh, hematology over here. Uh, I started my journey in hematology uh, way back in 1993. And uh, myeloma was a diagnosis we used to make uh, two or three times a month at that time. And uh, it took a lot to diagnose a patient of myeloma in those times. And the treatment options were very limited. You know, what we call alkylating agents or the, uh, the drugs which bind to DNA and kill the cells, normal cells as well as abnormal cells. Those were the only drugs available for myeloma. So most patients of myeloma would die by say three years at the most. Um, then I still distinctly remember that um, this whole concept of autologous transplantation came up in myeloma. Now what was this um, concept? Uh, if you uh, look at my um, talk on lymphoma you'll find that I've explained autologous transplant over there, but it's possibly most suitably applied in case of myeloma. Um, the two main pioneers in this, uh, one was Professor Ray Poles from Royal Marston, uh, Professor Balogi from United States, and um, the French group as we call it, the, French group for myeloma, IFM, they all came up with the concept that this drug melphalan, which is an alkylating agent, a type of chemotherapy which was given by mouth, um, has got a very short uh, life in the body and it affects the bone marrow, it affects the, our intestines. If we give 10 milligram of melphalan, we kill 10 myeloma cells out of 100. If we give 50 milligram of melphalan, we, give 30, we kill 30 myeloma cells out of 100. Now, if we increase the dose from 50 to 100, we actually kill 70% of the myeloma cells. And go up to 200, you kill 90% of the myeloma cells. So we call it a dose response curve. That means if we can actually deliver melphalan of 200 milligram to a patient of myeloma, we'll be getting rid of 90% of the myeloma cells. But the exchange is that you lose all your bone marrow cells in the process. So the concept of autologous bone marrow transplantation was employed over here. The stem cells from the patient were mobilized, were collected, were stored. Melphalan was given at high doses and those cells were given back to the patient. And it was shown at that point in the early 90s that this is possibly the best outcome of myeloma in those days you could you know, ever imagine. That 40 to 50 percent of the patients for the first time can achieve a complete remission or below the level of detection in a patient of myeloma. But unfortunately, the disease comes back. In some in two years, some in five years, some in seven years, but in 95 percent of the patients it will come back. In other words, the disease is not completely eliminated.